media landscape is changing at a rate that we've never seen before. The expectations are higher by consumers. They are demanding their information and entertainment when they want it, where they want it. For 10 years, Moby TV has been a leader in providing people relevant media outside their home. Moby TV is the first, largest, and most successful company in their space. With the capable and operational reliabilities of their platform, Moby TV delivers content from every major studio and content provider in the United States. The 2010 World Cup was a seminal event for mobile television, showcasing the operational excellence of Moby TV and serving as an unqualified success for ESPN Mobile. During the 2010 World Cup, Moby TV streamed over 108 million minutes of video on ESPN Mobile TV. 71.8 million of those were done during the live games alone. And we delivered that without one second of downtime. As importantly, we demonstrated economic scalability by leveraging HTTP delivery for literally pennies on the dollar compared to RTSP. The Moby TV platform is engineered to deliver World Cup scale volume and meet the increasing consumer demands for access to live events on any screen with a converged solution. The fundamental difference with convergence, the way Moby looks at it, is that we move from a device-centric model to a user-centric model. And what we mean with that is basically, normally you authorize and authenticate the device, you give the device a service. With Convergence for Moby, we give the user service. We're making sure that we know it's kind of accessing the service from the PC, it's kind of accessing from this mobile, it's kind of accessing through the set-top box. That is really the reason for why we look at Convergence as the future. At the center of Moby TV's ability to deliver Convergence is their accelerated media platform. The accelerated media platform is comprised of numerous technology components that handle the ingestion and transcoding of content. We transcode all the content into the various different profiles that we need to support for each device and resolution. We then encrypt the content for security and we distribute it to the end user's device for playback. Moby TV AMP is the end-to-end -end managed service platform for the authentication, delivery, and playback of multimedia across multiple screens. From mobile, PC, tablet, and IPTV devices, Moby TV AMP is the ultimate solution for service providers to deploy high-quality media content at a fraction of the cost of other solutions. Moby TV has invested more than 10 years developing our platform, and the strength of our technology is evident today in the services and applications that we're providing to our more than 10 million users. Moby TV AMP powers some of the most demanded mobile applications. We've built some amazing applications at Moby TV powered by our accelerated media delivery platform. Overarching design philosophy has been to make the user experience more personal, more relevant, and more engaging. One of the applications of note was the 2010 Winter Olympics that Moby TV created with NBC Sports and AT&T. It combined a rich catalog of video on demand content with integration into social networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook, and Huddle. End users were able to follow their favorite athletes' tweets, post video clips on their Facebook wall, and engage in, in private or public chats via the Huddle application. It was an immense success. We saw more people engaging with the social network aspects of the application, even more so than the video, suggesting that the future of video, particularly mobile video, is around a more integrated and interactive experience. There are a lot of mobile application providers in the marketplace today, but I wouldn't characterize Moby TV as an application provider. At the end of the day, we're a technology and a managed service provider. A lot of thought has gone into our accelerated media delivery platform to allow us to deliver these uh, personalized and engaged consumer experiences. Although we've won awards for our applications, the hallmark of Moby TV is high quality video, scalable solutions, and operational excellence. Today's convergent media world constantly changes the way we create, consume, learn, and interact with one another. Where Moby TV is innovating around convergence is really around how we distribute the content, how we authenticate and authorize the, 
the user and how we deal with multi-user devices. So one of the things is stateless video. We created this way of distributing video which makes it possible to send over any type of network to any type of device. The key with it is you need to distribute with the same format to all the different devices. If you want to have a seamless experience, as an example, pause a movie on one platform and bring it up on the other, you need to make sure you have one common delivery format. The other part is, of course, authentication authorization, specifically around a multi-user device. And that's a fancy name for saying a big screen TV at home. Because when you come home, you have a lot of people consuming content on that TV. So part of creating a personalized converged service is how do you solve the part of who's watching the TV at home? How do you connect it to your personal device, your phone or your PC? This is really where Mobi TV is putting in a lot of innovation around how do we deal with that kind of authorization and authentication. In five years, I don't think we will see separate services like mobile TV, PC TV, internet TV, or even traditional TV. We will truly see a converged service. I'm convinced that as an end user, you will have your content on all the different platforms personalized for your experience. With a broad product line built on a single platform, Mobi TV is uniquely positioned to capitalize on the explosive growth in mobile. This is about making media relevant in the changing world. The goal of Mobi TV is not to have people look at our technology or our products and go, wow. The goal is to have them say, how did I ever live without it?